Attention. If you or a loved one suffer from being completely ass at Call of Duty, this video may be able to help. Enjoy. Welcome, 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 guys. Thank y'all so very much for taking time out of your busy schedules to come and check out this video. My name is Matt, also known as Jackal. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely, extremely excited to return to Call of Duty content. That's right. We are going back to Call of Duty videos, baby. Let's get it. What that will mean is we're going to be doing class setups. We're going to be doing movement tips. We got gunplay mechanic tips. We got how to go pro. We got professional gameplay tips. How to review your VODs. Everything. The whole shebang. The whole nine yards. Whatever you want to call it. We got it right here, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You're not going to want to miss this. Today's matter at hand is going to be the XM4 right here, baby. This gun has recently become one of the top weapons to use in the professional scene with the recent GAing or gentleman's agreement not to use the AK-47. So today I'm going to be bringing you my best professional class setup as sanctioned by the CDL and the Amateur Challengers Division as well as my best public match setup which can be used by anybody. This gun has recently become known as the main way to go if you are a flex player you know that fast paced hunt you down assault rifle player and i've got the class that is going to allow you to do just that so without further ado let's get into it guys all right so starting off here the xm4 as great of a gun it is needs gunfighter you need as many attachments as you can on this weapon to make it as great as possible we're gonna start by slapping gunfighter on for your wild card Jump into the gunsmith here. Optic, mill stop reflex, gotta have it. If you're more of a micro flex guy, I'll let it slide, but really those are the only two you should be using here in professional scenes or any sort of competitive setting. Muzzle, I'm jumping in with the muzzle brake 5.56 for that 4% recoil control vertically. Absolutely no downsides to this weapon. A lot of people I'm seeing are using the infantry compensator, but I just don't like that 8% decrease in the horizontal recoil. So I'm sticking with the muzzle brake 5.56. For the barrel, really there's two options here. The 13.7 inch takedown, which is my preference. You have the effective damage range, but you do have the sprinting move speed which is the one thing I'm not crazy about this. That damage range makes it so much easier to be viable with the Krig, which is going to be your main AR more than likely. You're, you're going to be able to both beat out the Krig in medium to long range, as well as it has the mobility to beat out the AK-74U in your close range. So that's why I'm going with the takedown. A lot of people are also using the extended because you don't lose that shooting move speed and you do gain a lot of bullet velocity so your bullets will actually travel faster and you're going to be able to hopefully kill in a quicker time with your bullets traveling it's not going to change how far you can kill so it's not going to really make it as viable with that long range but a lot of people are using this as well test it out let me know down in the comments what you guys use and what you guys prefer be greatly appreciated every body attachment is and in the CDL, so we don't touch those under barrel. Got to go with the field agent grip for that recoil control. There's really nothing else to use with an AR. Um, as much as I want to go with the speed grip for the extra movement speed, I just can't. The M4 has too much recoil to deal with when you're at medium to long range. So we're going to mitigate that and make this gun shoot beams as much as possible. Mag, I'm just going with the 40 round, standard 40 round. There's only reload quickness, so there's really no downside to it, honestly. You have a 33% more ammo, more starting ammo, more ammo capacity. You're just, you know, 30% more ammo and 10% reload quickness. That's 20% profit there. That's a 20% net gain. For the handle, not a surprise here. Airborne elastic wrap, ADS time, huge when you're a flex player. You've got to be able to get around corners and ADS very quickly when there's a man there needing to be killed. Very no-brainer here. And of course, Raider Pad, again, no-brainer. Very standard on pretty much all of your professional classes. Should be at least Raider Pad, Airborne Elastic Wrap, or whatever it's actually called on whatever weapon you're using. I think it's 
Um, I think it's slightly different with the Krig and the AK-74, but I don't know off the top of my head. Basically, just pick the last one for your handle and your stock. So that is my class setup for the XM4 for my professional setup, guys. Let's jump over and check out my pub setup, which is a little bit different, but still quite, quite similar. All right, so for my public class setup, we still rock the most top reflex. Doesn't change. We're also still running Gunfighter again. I know this may seem like a little bit of a hit when you can't run both Flak and Tack or Ghost and Ninja or whatever you want to run. But I really do think for this gun to be at its peak performance, you really do need the Gunfighter wildcard to give it all those extra attachments. So, Millstop Reflex. For the muzzle, we go to the Agency Suppressor. Not only do you gain 7% vertical recoil control, but you also get 100% muzzle flash concealment. What does that mean, you may ask? Well, basically, what it means is people aren't going to see you on the minimap when you fire your weapon. For the barrel, we are running with the Reinforced Heavy. Now, this might come as a surprise because... During my pro setup, I did say that the two main ones were extended or takedown, but with the reinforced heavy, I really do believe that this is your best chance because you get a little bit of both worlds with the effective damage range and the bullet velocity, which makes up for what we just lost with the suppressor. And in pubs, sprint move speed is a little bit less necessary than competitive setting because there's two more people on the map. And aim walking movement speed I don't know about you, but I rarely walk while ads so I am more than happy to let that go down the drain. For the body, just a standard steady aim laser. A lot of you might be wondering why I don't go with the 5 milliwatt, and simply, I don't lose ADS time. This gun is meant to be a very fast-paced weapon. You can hit it out to be a little bit slower, but it's meant to be a very fast-paced weapon, and by losing ADS time, you lose that fast-pacedness. Hip fire's already ass in this game, so to get another 20% accuracy with it really doesn't matter because we're losing more than 40% throughout the rest of these attachments, to be honest. Underbarrel, still running field agent grip, just like the pro setup. Have to, absolutely have to mitigate recoil as much as you can with this gun. For the magazine, I'm running the 40 round mag. Again, doesn't really give any sort of downside to this, you know. Reload quickness, again, same as my pro setup. Uh, you get 30% more weapon, more bullets, and you're only losing 10% reload quickness. So I really think this is a no-brainer as well. For my handle, I'm still running airborne elastic and still running Raider pad, just like my professional setup, guys. These haven't changed for the exact same reasons. You know, ADS time and flinch resistance, as well as being able to go prone, and sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed. Mainly the sprint to fire time is what's needed here. You're going to be sprinting around, and if you get caught sprinting, this will help you win 80% more gunfights by increasing your sprint to fire time. There we have it, guys. This has been my Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War XM4 professional and public match setup. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do not forget to leave without leaving a like or dislike it if you disliked it. It really helps me find out what kind of content you guys are most expecting from me. Hopefully I did a pretty good job with this video explaining everything. If you have any questions, as always, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, whatever platform you may be following me on, or just drop a comment simply. Always look at every comment, so hopefully I will see something like that in this video, guys. If you have any questions, let me know what else you guys want to see. What weapon should I make a class for next? I've already done the 74 and the M4 now. So what else do you guys want to see with the updated 2021 class setups? Let me know, guys, down in the comments or find a way to get a hold of me on my other social medias. Links are down in the description below, as always. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day may be, wherever you may be. And as always, happy slaying, guys. Much love.